Hey guys, welcome to Gamer Wick, and today I'm going to show you how to boost FPS and performance in games, which is basically applied for low end and moderate PCs. So, this is my laptop. You can go ahead and check these specs in the description. So, it's a little bit older. Um, I mean, graphics card is a little bit old, and uh, so that's why I'm going to show you this uh, tutorial. Uh, okay, for this, you need basically two softwares one is Razer Cortex. So, right here, Razer Cortex. So, let me show you Razer Cortex Gain Booster. So, this is the one which is required. So, so and MSI second one is MSI after burner so you can uh, go ahead and download the uh, software so uh, I have uh, provided the link in the description so uh, these are free of cost so you can download it and uh, I have I have already installed the softwares in my system so after you guys install I'm going to, I'm just going to show you how it operates right now. So it's in the tray. So I'm going to open it. This is a uh, Razer Cortex. So this is how it looks and uh, you have multiple tabs. So you need to go to boost. So there you can see number of processes. So this are the same processes which run in start manager, start task manager. So what you need to do here is uh, just select the ones which is not required while well, select the softwares or select the uh, uprunning uh, programs which is not required while you playing the game. So uh, for example uh, WD driver utility is not required for me because uh, it is a external hard disk uh, software so that's why I have selected it so I have selected so many of the other uh, things so you need to do that after that you can click boost what it will do is it will make this uh, programs go into hibernate state so that will help while playing games or free up some RAM so I'm going to click right there to reduce that brightness okay okay there we go okay close that next is MSI afterburner where is it I think I haven't opened it okay MSI there we go yes okay this is MSI afterburner uh, I'm sorry about that okay yeah when you install the game install the software it will look like this that was my settings previously and uh, so uh, you can go ahead and uh, you can see the description about the uh, options provided there so uh, they have provided the detailed description what it does and uh, a little advice here is you need to go one step at a time that is uh, not to take a well my profile is at 110 and 30 so you shouldn't uh, directly go to that settings you need to start off with the lower values such as give it a maybe a core clock as uh, 30 and where is that yes and uh, memory clock as 10 start off with that so try these settings first and then check your system how it runs you can also check the uh, temperature and FPS you can go ahead right here to the monitor so right here these are the temperature this one so you can check this tick mark show on screen display so that will show the temperature we're playing the game and also frame rate here it is yes you can check this one these two so it will show the temperature and also the frame rate okay for now I don't need it okay 
mine is at I have uh, characterized with 110 and 30 so okay so for that this is for required for my system okay I'm going to apply close it so now what I'm going to do next thing what you require is to go to the control panel of your graphics card so mine is NVIDIA I'm going to NVIDIA graphics control panel come on come on come on open up okay there we go come on buddy open up quicker ah that's it so um, today for demonstration I'm going to show you a game called Just Cause 3 so uh, which is which can be run on this laptop specs okay uh, so in this you can uh, go, go to manage 3d settings and select your game whichever game may it may be so okay and then select high performance NVIDIA processor so that is required and so these features which are here so based on your game and uh, yeah you can select the power management mode I have selected as maximum performance which uh, is required by that and also yeah text filter filtering as uh, performance so you can uh, play with these settings and uh, check don't alter everything just checks one uh, option at a time so that you will be able to no notice some changes so this you can uh, play with and uh, I have kept these settings for my system so next up is go to set fix physics or something okay so there uh, you need to select CPU not it will be I think uh, GeForce this is my graphics card but uh, select G CPU so that is required okay that is done close this and the next one which I want to talk is the Windows uh, layout so this personalized option is there right go there and there I'm going to select Windows basic theme so why I'm doing this is because it will also free up a lot of RAM so thereby you can play the game easily So this is the Windows classic uh, or Windows uh, classic uh, layout so this is what I have saved it here so I'm going to switch to that there we go so okay so I have uh, switched it so I have done four steps one is Razor Cortex second MSI Afterburner third your graphics card control panel and fourth is Windows uh, basic theme yes well Windows basic theme is not required for every game but you can try that out I think it will boost a little bit of uh, FPS okay now uh, let's uh, play the game and uh, another thing which I need to tell you is uh, after playing the games you can just go ahead and uh, restore so that uh, all the hibernated app applications will be back again so and uh, MSI Afterburner I have closed it I have uh, clicked the settings and I have clicked close as it will not be running so you, can, you have to go back again MSI and there again you have to take it back to the normal profile so you should remember the normal profile will be zero zero so click apply and you're done so now I don't require that I'll keep it as it is if I minimize it it will be back in the tray I don't want that so I will close it all right right there and then just cost three okay come on there we go 
let me just uh, sorry about that properties auto hide okay yes that's much better so and uh, while playing steam games it's better if you go offline it's much uh, it will reduce the load on the uh, CPU as far as I have read okay so come on load up so uh, it's also advisable I advise that uh, you if you are guys uh, using a laptop uh, you can always uh, go for a cooler so uh, it uh, it is used uh, to reduce the heat generated uh, while playing games uh, such as this just cost 3 so that will be much much useful all right let's see how well the game runs come on load up a little bit more Come on, come on. Load up, buddy. There we go. Yes. Yes, there you have it. I have uh, set it this in medium settings, so it's pretty much good, yes. So, yeah. It's coming good. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I hope the video is helpful. See you later. Bye-bye.